Hi guys, welcome back and welcome to another fitness update. It's been a little while since my last one, but I'm really excited for this update because I'm going back for another health MOT. And if you saw my previous update, I'll leave it linked below. When I first started going to the gym, I um, did a health MOT, which was basically telling me about my health and my fitness levels and what I needed to do to improve and change and just like be better. And that was so, so helpful. I'm going to Nuffield Health and I've been going there for the last five months. And I'm proud to say that for the most part, I've been sticking to it and I've been going pretty regularly. So that's made a massive difference in my life in general. Um, but today I'm going back there after my last MOT five months ago, I think it was almost five months ago, to see how things are going and to check on my progress and I'm really keen to see some progress because I've been working hard um, to try and fit in gym in my life. You know I've got two young children so that's not always easy to go out to the gym weekly um, but I've been feeling really motivated and yeah I've seen some difference in my body and in my mood and in my life in general so in this video I'm just gonna show you my progress because I'm off now to do my health MOT I'm just finishing getting ready now and then I'm gonna chat to you about any differences that I've noticed in my life and also show you my body so that we can compare and see if we can see any difference I'm just gonna put some lip balm on um, also apologies for the quality of this video i'm filming on my iphone because my friend is borrowing my small camera and my big camera is just like too big and cumbersome so apologies if the video doesn't look as great as usual but yeah this is what i'm wearing to the gym today just a plain top and a tank top underneath and my primark leggings and yeah let's get to the health mot Right, so I'm back. I've done my health MOT, had a workout, a shower, and now I'm gonna share with you the results. And I also wanna to talk to you about making some positive life changes and things that I will be implementing in order to better my score, my, my test results. And I'm already doing one of those changes. Um, I'm having a yogurt for lunch. I have so much to talk to you about my eating habits and how you know I'm gonna move on from now because I'll have another health MOT in 12 weeks and I really wanna smash it this time. So my results, I've grown in height. So I'm now officially five foot tall because I was four foot 11 last time. But for some reason I've grown. I think maybe my posture has improved, um, which is great. My weight has stayed the same, which was a little bit annoying and frustrating because I can see that my body has changed. I can tell that I've lost inches, um, but my weight, the number has stayed the same. And I know the number shouldn't mean much, but it is inevitably the first thing that we all look at, isn't it? So when you see your weight the same, it just feels a little bit frustrating. So I really wanna get those numbers down properly. My BMI has improved, so I'm now at 23.8 BMI. Don't know if that means anything to you, but she said it was quite good. My, my blood pressure has improved as well. My resting heart rate has improved. Um, my cholesterol has gone up. And last time it was 0.1 above the good. So it was like on the not so good, but going towards bad. And she was like really stressing to me, let's get that down below five. And it's actually gone up. So I was really disappointed in myself and that's what sparked the change that I'm making to my lifestyle now in order to get that cholesterol down. So it's on 5.32. My glucose has gone up a bit, but it's still on the very, very normal level. She said she's happy with that. My hip to waist ratio has gone down as well. So I've lost inches off my waist and I've lost inches off my hips. And the personal trainer said she wanted to see me gain inches on my hips, but secretly I'm quite happy that I've lost some. Um, but yeah, so that's gone down as well, which is great. And my overall score has gone up 
to 68. So that has put me on the moderately fit category. And before my first, when I did my first health MOT, I was on the unfit category, which is such a big improvement for me to see the numbers changing in my fitness levels. And I feel so much healthier and fitter, but there are a few things that I need to change to get my um, what's it called to get my cholesterol down and just to improve my overall like BMI and just generally improve my overall score so that I get into that like very fit category I'm never going to be like ultra fit just it's not my lifestyle but I really want to see the weight go down I want to get to 51 kilograms which is how much I weighed before I had kids and I'm almost there, I'm on 55 kilograms, I just need that one last push. So a few things that I was doing, which now I'm gonna stop doing and do it differently and hopefully see an improvement, is that I, was, I still wasn't eating, eating much throughout the day, still relying on my evening meal to keep me going for the whole day. I mean, I would have breakfast and then have nothing um, and then have my dinner. And so the personal trainer said that that's not good because it means my body is holding on to that fat it's going into starvation mode and then clinging to that fat because it knows it will only get food in the evening. So I'm changing that, which is why I'm having my little yogurt. She said, even if you have something small as a yogurt for lunch, it's better than having nothing. And so that's the change that I'm gonna make. And then I'm gonna cut down on a few extras in order to hopefully reduce my cholesterol. So, you know, I, I don't eat massively unhealthy, but I do like to have bits and bobs like grated cheese on top of my food and a slice of bread. Nothing too excessive, but you know, things that do add up. And so I'm gonna try and cut down on those extras and see if it makes a difference in my life. I've started to do running in the evening, but I do still like going to the gym as much as possible because it makes me feel good, like having my, it's my little sanctuary and I feel like I'm working on my physical health, my mental health. Um, but yeah, running has done wonders for me. It's made me like, I don't know, a lot more positive and just clears my mind. So yeah, I'm quite happy, quite pleased with my results. Glad to see that it has all improved in general. Now I'm just gonna show you my body so you can see how I'm looking. And I am, I'd say 70% pleased with how I look at the moment, but I really wanna get a little bit more toned. I wanna lose a bit of fat. And hopefully those lifestyle changes that I'm gonna make will help me lose weight. And I've said before, I'm not a big, I'm not big on diets. I just can't seem to stick to them. So I feel like a lifestyle change, like the one that I've done um, in this journey that I've come with Nuffield Health is the best way forward for me. It's something that I can keep um, for the rest of my life. And yeah, it's just easy to implement. And if you're by any chance interested in joining the gym, do look out for Nuffield Health gyms near you. That health MOT is absolutely great. I'll leave a link to their website below. It's something that like drawn attention to things that I didn't even know about my health that were problems like my cholesterol. I wasn't even paying attention to it. You might think that you're you're working out, that you're doing great for your health, but if you're not looking at those specific issues, you don't know what you should be working on that will improve your health and your lifestyle. So I'll leave a link to Nuffield Health below. It's been great working with them over the last few months and it's made a huge difference in my life. So without further ado, let me show you my body. Right, so I hope you can see better now. Um, so I'm wearing like gym leggings and a baggy top, so I'm gonna have to pull it up for you to see. So I can definitely see that I've lost inches around my waist, like my usual trousers are a little bit looser here, which is nice but I still have my little problem area around my tummy there that I wanna lose. Still, I can see how much weight I've lost. I've lost back fat. I've lost inches on my hips and legs. I feel like my legs are way more toned. And yeah, I just feel fitter and just generally like slimmer, which is nice. And the areas that I really wanna work on are like my love handles because I think they're still quite obvious and my little hanging pouch over there. But overall, I'm pretty happy with how I'm looking physically and my arms as well are a lot slimmer. They don't like stick out so much and I can actually see muscle tone, <laughs> which is great. Um, so if you wanna see any kind of like 
what exercises I do, videos, then let me know in the comments below and I'll tell you which ones I do. But obviously with these things, you know that what works for someone might not work for someone else. I think it's great to share um, just in case you're on a health kick like me. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments below if you're also on a health kick so we can motivate each other. I find it so much easier to keep to my goals when I'm like doing it with a buddy or with a friend. So let's keep each other motivated. I still have, um, not a long way, but I still have quite a way to go to get to where, where I wanna be. And I'm hoping to get there by the end of this summer. And I think that's quite achievable. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to subscribe and follow me on my fitness journey. And also stick around and watch some more of my videos. I hope you like it. Like it and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!